This is a story about two men. They competed for the same job. One was white, the other black. <laughs> One liked to talk a lot. You said, uh-huh. The other was shy as a three-year-old. Mm -hmm. Hey, rookies got to stick together. Our story is about how they came to know each other, fight each other. <sighs> I'm going to whip you, Sayers. But you got to be at your best. And help each other. I think I, I owe you a beer. How you? A lot more than that. Yeah. What it comes down to is that J.C. had an ocean here, and Ed seems to think it's a good idea. We'd like you and Brian Piccolo to room together. You had me worried. I thought it was something really. It says this is something really. Man, you're talking about a white man and a black man rooming together on a team that's never been done before. What J.C. is saying is that there may be some pressures, severe ones. <laughs> I was afraid to get up. I figured not everything was going to come with me. <laughs> you have never seen anyone so black and blue in your life. <laughs> it's like a rooming with a colored player again. <laughs> Gail told the joke. Gail, I'm sending Brian Piccolo back to Chicago. He's always been in shape, willing to give 100%. But he's not doing that anymore. And that's what worries me. I don't know what it is. Could be something physical, or it might be a, an emotional disturbance. I mean, I know perfectly well what's wrong with me. Gail, I, uh, I think I'm pregnant. <laughs> Don't make fun of me, Brian. I'm scared. I'm no idiot. This thing I got's bad, I know that. But, uh, well, it's just a detour, Joy. I'm not gonna let it stop me. I'm just not. There's no way. The tough, tender, and true story of Gail Sayers and Brian Piccolo.